Happy New Year once again, Samsung family. The first day of 2026 is officially finished and I truly hope your new year has started on a positive note. Now let me ask you something. How many features on your Samsung Galaxy phones are you actually using? Because chances are you're missing out on some incredibly powerful tools that are already built into your device. So in today's video, I'm breaking down seven Samsung Galaxy features from Galaxy AI to deep customization that can help you be more productive, more creative, and more secure in 2026. So let's try to hit 300 likes on this video, and don't forget to share this with your friends, family, who use Samsung Galaxy device. All right, let's begin. So the first feature is where you can write on your calendar. So imagine you're in the middle of a busy day, maybe you're in a meeting, in a class, or even on the move, and you suddenly remember something important you need to do later on. So typing feels slow, and you don't want to forget. So Samsung Calendar allows you to write directly on your calendar using a finger or S Pen. So instead of typing, you can quickly jot down notes, draw symbols, or write reminders exactly how you think. So these handwritten notes stay attached to your schedule and sync across your Samsung device. So here's an example. We'll go ahead and open up our calendar app, so Samsung Calendar. And here we'll go ahead and go to a calendar. So for example, this one here. So let's say I want to go ahead and do some so let's say I want to go ahead and write on this January calendar. So I'll go ahead and tap on this pencil icon here, and then I can go ahead and start writing. So let's say from the 12th to the 17th, I am on holiday. Let's say on the 20th, I have something really important to do. So I'll put an X on it. And let's say on the 27th to the 29th, I have a doctor's appointment. So like this, I can go ahead and make all my notes instead of typing everything out. So now once I'm done, I can go ahead and press save. So now to view my handwritten notes on my calendar, I need to go ahead and tap on the three lines, then tap on show handwriting. And then now I can go ahead and look at my calendar and basically see all my handwritten notes on the month itself. So this makes planning faster, more natural and more personal. So this is perfect for people who like visual organization, less typing and quick note taking using their S Pen. Okay. Now, feature number two is where you can create an original message with Galaxy AI. So you want to send a thoughtful message, maybe a birthday wish, an apology, a professional text, or maybe a new year message. But you're stuck staring at a blank screen, unsure how to start, or maybe English is not your first language. So Galaxy AI Writing Assist can generate an original message for you based on what you want to say. So you can choose a tone, friendly, professional, polite, or emotional, and the AI helps rewrite or improve your message while keeping it very natural. So here's an example, we'll go ahead and open up notes. We'll go ahead and create a new note. So here we'll go ahead and think of a message which we wanna to type to others. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and tap on this Galaxy AI button. Now this will open up your writing assist from Galaxy AI. So here you wanna go ahead and choose Composer, and now here you wanna go ahead and start writing your main idea. So as it reads, start by writing your main idea or just ask me to help you write something so I can answer questions or provide additional information, but I can help you create your own message. So here I wanna go ahead and write a Happy New Year message for my family members. Write me a Happy New Year message for my family members. Wish them Happy New Year, good wealth, and success for the future. So now I'll go ahead and tap on Generate. So here, as it reads, as we step into this new year, I wish you all an immense happiness and continued success. So what I've written compared to what it has given me, I'm really impressed, to be honest. I can go ahead and press Copy, and I can go ahead and just send it to everyone. So this is like an original message which has come from you. Now, before we start as well, you can go ahead and choose what kind of message you want. Is it a standard message, an email for social media purpose or a comment? And you can go ahead and choose a tone. So you want a professional, casual or polite. So let's say I wanna go ahead and do it for a social media post. it will tap on generate. And as you can see, it has basically created me a paragraph with all emojis as well. So it looks more interactive as well. It looks more personal from you as well, created by someone who is a human. So you can go ahead now, copy everything, go to your message, go ahead and paste this and go ahead and send it off. 
So this way you save time, reduce stress, and always send messages that sound confident, clear, and well-written. Now the third feature is where you can change the volume interface. So no more boring sliders, you'll have a slider like this on screen. So you press the volume button and the default volume panel pops up, blocking part of your screen and feeling outdated or awkward to use, especially with one hand. So Samsung allows you to install a third-party app to customize the volume interface, letting you change how it looks, how it behaves and how it appears on your screen. So you can control the media notification, system sound in a cleaner and more modern layout. So as you can see, this is what my volume looks like compared to what I had before, which was a, a bar volume panel. So let me show you how you can do this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up your Play Store. Now here you wanna go ahead and search for no volume. So this is the app which you require. Go ahead and install this. And once installed, you need to go ahead and allow some permissions, which is in accessibility to stay all this on. And then you can go ahead and configure this. This is a paid app, but however, you get this first preset free of charge. I really like this, so I had gone ahead and customized this. I can move to the right or left, I can invert scrolling, I can change the numbers around, the appearance, and then I can go ahead and just enjoy this. So this gives you a quicker access, better control, and a smoother experience, especially when multitasking or watching content. Now, feature number four is where you can make your keyboard transparent using Theme Park. So you have an amazing wallpaper, but every time you start typing, the keyboard covers half the screen and ruins the whole look. So with Goodlock's Theme Park, you can make your Samsung keyboard transparent or semi-transparent. So you can still keep it readable while allowing your wallpaper to show through, creating a seamless visual experience. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Goodlock app. Now in the Goodlock app, go ahead and open up Theme Park. Now we'll go ahead and create a new keyboard. We'll go ahead and tap create new. And now on this create new here, you wanna go ahead and tap on this circle here at the top right. Tap on this. And here you wanna go ahead and choose your transparency to zero. So if you want it completely clear, make sure it's gone ahead to the left hand side. If you wanna make it semi-transparent, make sure it's only about one fourth. So I want it to go ahead and completely clear. Now next you wanna go ahead and press save, give this a name. And now we'll go ahead and choose this and apply it. We'll go ahead and test it out. And as you can see, this is now a completely clear keyboard. So there you go, it's showing you a completely transparent keyboard. So as you can see, so typing feels more immersive, modern, and visually pleasing, perfect for users who love customizing every detail of their phone. Now, feature number six is where you wanna remove unwanted items from your photo using Galaxy AI. So you take what should be a perfect photo on your Christmas day or this new year, but someone has walked into the frame or there's an unwanted object in the background. So the Galaxy AI lets you remove objects or people from photo with just a few taps. So the AI intelligently fills in the background so the edit looks natural without needing any third-party apps. So let me show you how to do this. So here is an example. I have a picture which I've basically taken on a trip and I wanna go ahead and remove this car from this picture. So I'll go ahead and use Galaxy AI. I'll go ahead and circle around this. So as you can see, it has basically found the car. I'll press delete and now press on generate. And as you can see, it has completely cleared the car from this road. So even the shadows has disappeared as well. So this is what it looked like originally, and this is what it looks like now. Now let's say for example, I wanna go ahead and make this car a bit larger. So I'll go ahead and again, Galaxy AI, select it, now I'll go ahead and use the move button here. I'll go ahead and move it a bit at the top here and just make it a bit larger. And then I'll tap on generate. And as you can see, it has basically enlarged the car as well. So this way you get cleaner, professional looking photos instantly. It saves time and keeps your memories exactly how you want them. Now feature number six is where you can create 3D icons 
on your Samsung Galaxy device. So you unlock your phone and everything looks flat and generic, just like everyone else's home screen. So using Goodlock's theme park module, you can now add a 3D effect to your app icon, giving them depth, shadows, and a premium appearance that stands out. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, go ahead and open up your Goodlock app. Now in the Goodlock app, scroll down and find theme park. Now from here, tap on icons, then tap on create new. Now we'll go ahead and choose your shape. So I'll go ahead and choose the round shape. Next, I'll go ahead and tap on effects. And here, this is the new option where you'll see called emboss. Tap on that. And now go ahead and play around with the strength, the edge, the angle, and the shadow. The more you change the details on this, the more effect you'll see on your icons. So as you can see, I've moved everything to the right hand side. So all my icons have turned more into a 3D icon. Now I can go ahead and choose the colors as well but I want to go ahead and leave this what the colors were of the original icons itself. So it basically allows me to see quicker and also find the icons quicker. So now once that's done, we'll press save here at the top right. We'll give it a name. And now once that's done, we'll go ahead and choose that. That's the one we made. Tap on it and tap on apply. And that's done, press home. And now as you can see, all of your icons are now 3D icons. So they have a depth, they have some shadows on it, and they're more raised as well. So your Galaxy device looks more unique, polished, and fully customized to your personal style. Now feature number seven is where you can default to charging only when connecting via a USB-C. So you plug your phone into a public charger at an airport, in a car, or a cafe, and you worry about your personal data being accessed on your phone. Well, Samsung allows USB-C connections to default to charging only, so blocking all the data transfer unless you allow manually. So this protects your phone from unauthorized access. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, we need to go ahead and open up settings, scroll down, and here you need to go ahead and turn on this developer option mode. To turn it on, tap on about phone, Go ahead and tap on software information, find build number, and tap multiple times until you see developer mode has been enabled, this message here. Go back, find developer options. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find default USB configuration. So go ahead and scroll down and find the option, default USB configuration. Tap on this, and here you can go ahead and choose transferring files, USB theatering, MIDI, transferring image, or charging only. So since you don't want your personal data to be leaked, you need to make sure charging only is selected, and then go ahead and charge anywhere in public areas like the airport, cafe, or in a car, and your phone will only charge. When you're at home, you can go ahead and transfer that into transferring files. So you charge your phone safely and securely with a peace of mind wherever you go. And there you have it, seven powerful Samsung Galaxy features to help you start 2026 smarter and more secure. So if you found this helpful, let's hit 300 likes on this video. Please make sure to share this with your friends, family. The more you share, the more YouTube pushes this video out to everyone. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more Samsung tips, Galaxy AI features, and customization guides. Happy New Year once again, and I'll see you in the next one.